Hey guys, it's Brian and welcome to Arrowhead Garage. Today, we need to give some love and lube up. That was so wrong, so wrong. But anyways, we need to lube up the door, window channel here, and the mechanisms to make sure this window goes up and down quick and easy on our 67 Firebird. So with that, I'm gonna shut up and let's get into wrenching on this week's episode. Let me bring you in and show you what I'm talking about here. If you remember, the glass uh, was busted out by some kids uh, who were neighbors of my brother's when the car was in Oklahoma, shot it out. So there's no glass here. We simply took a, an ice pick and a uh, screwdriver and a hammer, and we got the whole channel cleared out of what was left of the glass. And we were able to retrieve the little bolt that anchors the rear of the window down into the channel. But today, this is my problem, is that when I try to roll the window up or down, which I always forget which way this goes. That must be all the way up, it's all the way down. You can see it's, there's a, not, it's just gritty. So I'm assuming after 50 years, the grease that was in the door is gone. And especially since the window was busted out, rain and snow got in there and washed it all away. So we're gonna get in there and uh, lube up these channels and these uh, gears and these rollers so that way, when we do put the glass in, in the next video, it will go in like that, and we'll have a perfect working driver's window. Because we're going to need one when we go through drive throughs and when we whistle at pretty girls and uh, or whistle back at pretty girls. Or, God, I don't know how that even works anymore. I've been married so long, and I, I don't know. So you youngsters, maybe comment down below on how you all do your girl thing now. But with that, let's grab some lube. And let's get on the door. Guys, May 18th through the 21st in St. Louis, Missouri, this year is the third annual Firebird Fest. And I'm, hopefully, all things going correctly, we'll have the 67 Firebird 400 on the road and driving and attending Firebird Fest 23. Remember, that's May 18th through the 21st, 2023. If you wanna meet me, check out the car, come to Firebird Fest, May 18th to the 21st, 2003, St. Louis, Missouri. I know this is a horrible way to uh, demonstrate this video, but if you remember from the video I put us, and I'll put a link over here, when we installed the rear quarter glass, there's these little channels that the little nylon rollers roll in. There's one right here, and it extends all the way across into here. And then this then becomes your actual regulator there. So we're going to take our white lithium grease, and we are just going to get in here and lube up as much as we possibly can and hopefully it will come out on the video so let's grab the lube and let's get in tight that again was bad so bad this is what we're using white lithium grease i'm going to get in here into this channel here and just as much as we possibly can got one little spot there stuck my pinky in there trying to get it up into there down into there, maybe put a little bit on my pinky here. And it wedge it up in there as well. Again, we'll just take our finger, try to work it up in there. Next, we'll go in right here, try to get it in there. Take your finger. And if you have to put a little bit on your finger, take it in there, find that channel. Lube it up. All right, there's that. Let's try another test. Yeah, it's starting to feel better already 
just a little bit there. Now we still have more to do. Okay, let's turn our attention to something else. So the door track, the door track is covered up by these little blobs of uh, stuff, just like on our rear quarter glass. There's two of them up here, one here and one right above there. So there's a track that goes this way. We need to loop that up as well. So we're gonna take our grease and see if we can't get in there. Use my light here and see if I can't show you guys. But there's a trap right there. See it, that silver part? We're gonna loop that up too because there's a roller that goes in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of my finger and see if I can't reach in here. Yeah, there we go, that's the ticket. Just work our way up. Just keep moving our fingers in here. So you can see that channel's right there, that metal channel right there. Let's move that glass up and down and see what happens. I'm telling you, it's getting easier. This is that track that we just greased up. You can see it's white in there. This is where the window will go, and that's that little one bolt that holds the glass in. So right here, that is our pivot point or our nylon roller. So our next idea is to lube it up just with that white lithium grease yet again. I just squirted a bunch in there. Let's see if I can help that. Let's go ahead and give this another try of up and down. Mucho better. Yeah. Okay, so next, it's the actual gears in here, and I know you can't see it, but there are right down in here, reach your hand in up there, there's the tooth, the gear itself is right there, and then if you can come in here with two fingers, you can kind of feel behind here where that roll spring is at. So we're going to get some grease, some bearing grease, and we're just going to get in here, a couple fingers, and just lubricate up what I can feel, and obviously... Touch that gear and you can kind of feel the dirt that's on there. Kind of take your finger and just kind of get what you can off that old dirt and stuff. And of course, you'd want to take the whole assembly out, but we really don't want to right this second. So let's get some grease and let's get in there. Okay, so there's our door handle right back here and right in here. Those gears are at. We're just going to take some bearing grease, get in there and lube it up. So, uh, there we go. Kind of massage it in and around with the lube. Oh my goodness. You young kids are probably laughing. Well, probably it's old folks too. Ha! All right, two more fingers. Get on that gear. A little bit of my thumb get on that back side a little bit more all 
right. And then just a little bit on the actual gear teeth themselves. All right, now let me uh, clean my hand off and uh, we'll try this again. So I'm gonna go down. Look at that. That's, that is getting much, much better. I like it. I'm going to play with it for a little bit more. You probably should too. Just kind of get in there and make sure you can grease all the pivot points. Now, the one pivot point or the one point channel we didn't do is this one right here on the inside. So the one thing we didn't lube was right in here. And that's because there's a felt channel that goes down in there. I have new felts for this and I have all new rubber gaskets that eventually we'll do a video on that. But for today, I just want to kind of get this window regulator able to move up and down much better than what it has been. And I think as you can see, we've done a pretty good job of that. <laughs> 